Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderbus Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. We got the boatless angler with us today, and we're doing what you love to do. Right. <laughs> Use live bait. Today, folks, we're gonna run, we're running live minnows, and uh, I'm using the T-turn bait rig here, as you can see, no line twist, no tangles. It comes pre-tied, which is great. I've got a seven foot medium action rod. The reason why I have medium action, we're actually looking for perch today. But you don't know what you're going to find when you're fishing with minnows. You could catch walleye. It's it's late November, so bass season is still open. Uh, you could get a rainbow out here. You never know. So I'm prepared. And uh, basically, I've loaded up, put the minnows on my rig. I've got about a one ounce sinker on there because we're fishing Niagara River. There's a bit of current. And uh, just going to keep these off the bottom. And for now, I'm anchored in this spot, but we're going to work our way along the shoreline. And uh, basically, even though we're anchored, what I like to do when I'm fishing with minnows or live bait, I like to just keep my line moving. Throw it in, keep it moving, pause for a bit, wait for a couple seconds. If you don't get a bite, then move it a bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to work this whole area and then continue working our way down the river. Hopefully we'll get into some fish. Gorgeous day. It's only two degrees Celsius. I'm, I'm sporting the toque today, folks, because it's pretty cold. The sun's out, but they say rain's on the way. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. I moved to the front of the boat. Got one. Maybe you found a little pot of them. Oh, I don't know. It's the first one. Hey, That's, good one. Yeah, not bad. bad. Nice. Good fish. All right, let's try the front of the boat. Nice yellow perch. We're let's keeping see. some today. Yeah, why not? That's a beauty. Yeah, That's a good one. Nice. Okay, that's a start. So there's some fish around anyways, right? Well, there's one. There's <laughs> Where there's one, there's more. Grab a minnow. Okay. So we're working our way around the boat. This time the back of the boat has struck. But that's what we're doing, folks. We're working the area. That's the key. These fish are not really schooled. They're more scattered than anything. And this one, I just cast it away out there. Did you see that? Is it a perch, you think? I, I, well, I don't know. It, whatever it is, it's it's decent. We shall see. Actually, he's, oh maybe he oh look at this! Header. I got a double, folks. We got we got double trouble. Oh, like that. <laughs> look at this! Look at this! How do you like that? Oh, this one just he inhaled the top one. They're silver bass. Those are not white perch. Now, these are these are actual what they call silver bass, also known as white bass this one i can release because he's just hooked in the side of the mouth little guy there this guy is kind of bleeding he inhaled my bait so i think we're gonna have to keep this one antonio but that's the beauty of the bait rig you got two hooks on there you got a chance to get a double as well now i think what i need for this one uh i might be able to get it out with my finger but if not i'll just get a needle nose and we'll get this guy out we're gonna have to keep this fish. Okay, I just put that fish in the live well. This feels like a perch. Feels like a perch? Yeah. Okay. Well, we might have get into some fish here. Live bait, you gotta love that. It's a perch. A nice perch? Too small. Oh, a little guy, okay. That's all right. I mean, we fish? can weed, yeah, we can weed through the smaller ones, right? Where's the minnows here? Minnows, lots of minnows. Come on. There we go. We can weed through the smaller ones, right? But that was a nice little bonus at two, uh, two nice little silver bass. Beautiful little fish. All right, I'm gonna rig up again. How's your mental situation? I'm reusing them. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, why not? I mean, I've lost both of mine, so I gotta re-rig. Hey, <laughs> Antonio says, why don't you drop it straight down? I said, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. Something good. <laughs> Something good again. I don't know if it's another silver bass or or a perch. It's decent though, straight down. It is I see silver. That is white a perch. white perch. So <laughs> unlike so you saw the other the other uh, fish that we caught was silver bass. This one is a white perch. See how they they look very, very similar, but they're a little bit different. This one does not have the stripes. And if you notice, as Antonio says, under the mouth here, you see like a little bit of purple. See that purple? So, fish on. you got one, Antonio? So the fish are definitely on today, that's for sure. And we're getting a variety on this, 
on the live minnows, which is great. You want to keep this white perch? No. Okay, we're going to let him go. Just lost mine. Now, did you lose him? Yeah, it was small. Now, when it comes to white perch, I'm going to say, Antonio, what do you think? What's better eating, white perch or yellow perch? <laughs> I know what the answer yellow is. Yellow perch is definitely the way to go. Yellow white perch. White perch isn't bad. It's a little fishier. It's it. So the white perch, basically, the main difference is it's fishy. It just tastes a little bit fishy, but other than that, you know, of course, it's good eating. So I'm going to try straight down again. Now I am using, I am using braided line, and even though the T-turn bait rig comes pre-tied with fluorocarbon line, I also have a fluorocarbon leader. So just to be safe. So I've got a good rig. I've got the sensitivity, and I also have the uh, the benefit of the fluorocarbon line being less visible to fish. Although the water is not crystal clear, right? No, it's actually. Good color. I like it when it's just a little bit murky like that. Okay, I'm straight down again, Antonio. I'm going to give it one minute. If not, I'm casting out there. Did you cast it out or? Cast it out. Cast it out. Dragging it and fish on. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, they're getting smaller as the day goes on, folks. <laughs> hey, it's a little guy. Okay. He made a good hit though. He did. Hey, eh? they're they're kind of aggressive, eh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can trigger on another bite. Oh, well, there's one. There's more. You got a slightly better one this time. It I feels think. slightly better. Okay. Got some some head shakes. And it's slightly better. A little bit bigger. Not much. No. <laughs> so there must be a little pod of small ones back there where you're casting. Now, here's the thing I want to mention as well, folks. What we're doing is. As you know, fishing straight down, but cast five feet out, work the area. Cast 10 feet out, work the area. Cast 15 feet out, work the area. So that way we get a chance to work the entire area. And as you notice, we went to the front of the boat, work in the back of the boat, whatever seems to be working. So we're covering a lot, a lot of ground that way. Especially, oh, there's a bite. Especially when the fish are scattered like they are today. There's a bit of a bite right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, did you see that? That was actually good. <laughs> I can't he smashed that. <laughs> I can't believe I missed him. I was a little late though, I could tell. <clears throat> well, he might come back. I do have two minnows there, so we'll see if he comes back. But if not, I'll bring my line in and recast it out again. See if he's there. I can't believe I missed that. He gave me a really good bite too. Oh, no, no, he's, he's back. back. Oh, yeah, that was a good bite. Come on. Maybe one more bite and I'll pull. That's the other thing with, with live bait. I like to wait at least to the second or third bite. And in this case, he might have taken my minnow. He stopped biting. All right, let's take a look and see. I give him five more seconds. And no. Okay, now, Antonio, you're on. I'm on. Okay, I just want to show you that bite I missed. There's the minnow. He was obviously biting on the bottom bait, and I want to show you something when I turned the minnow around. Look at that. He took the took. He was hitting the head. He took the eye right out. So I'm gonna replace that bait. You got one, Antonio? Yeah. Oh, that's a nicer that's fish. A better fish. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a nice bird. Yeah. Now that's what we're looking for right there. That's what we're looking for. It's long. It's a it's a long fish. Thick? Thick and long. Okay. Now, we do have a lot of minnows. So, if now this top bait looks like it's been chewed too. I want to show you that as well. Look at that top bait. I might have had a, a second one biting there. That one's been chewed up too. So, I'm going to keep it fresh because we do have a lot of bait. But if you don't have a lot of minnows, you can definitely reuse an old minnow. That's not a problem. Just keep your line moving. If you keep your line moving with an older minnow, you got a good chance of, of triggering a bite. All right, let's put some fresh bait on and see if we can get into some more fish. This is pretty decent out here today, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we both decide to cast at the back of the boat and both at the same time we get bites. <laughs> see who's bigger. Yeah, yours is probably bigger. Oh, uh, that's decent. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what I got here. Hopefully it's a yellow. And 
and small. Similar size. Yeah, mine's small. Yeah, they're both small. Okay, but you know what? This is what it's all about right here. Get that perch out. Freshen up that bait. Get that line right back out there again. There we go. The back, of, the back of the boat is hot. <laughs> I don't know another small one, maybe. Gave you a good bite, though. Make it up for the one I missed. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Hopefully, it's another, a keeper yellow. Let's hope. And what do we got? That was one of those 15-foot casts, folks. A little bit further, actually. Ooh, it's a nice yellow. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, there we go, folks. Right there. That's what it's all about right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he came on the top hook, eh? See that? Nice. Hey, that's a nice chunky yellow perch right there. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to put him in the box. But you know what, folks? I need the re rig. Because I got both my minnows gone, but this is what it's all about right here. Live bait fishing. It's actually very, very relaxing, eh? Oh yeah. It's you nice. know, I was sitting down most. I'm standing up now, but I, I was started sitting down. I might go back to sitting down again. But wherever you're tuning in from, folks, I want to thank you for spending time with Antonio and I today on today's episode of Thundermas Fishing Tips. If you get an opportunity, you can use these techniques from shore or from a boat. Hope you get out there and have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, good luck and good fishing. Re-rig. Re-rig. I'm all good. After that one, you bet I'm getting out there. <laughs> <laughs>